What is up guys, Dollar in a Dream coming at you with another video and in today's video we're going to be sorting through 100,000 pennies which is a thousand dollars and hunting for copper and wheat pennies and selling them. By the end of this video we're going to find out how much you can profit if you were to go to your bank, get a thousand dollars in pennies and sort through them with a goal of making more than one penny per penny that you don't return to the bank. Now you may be wondering, well where's the $1,000 in pennies while you clickbait me? Well, the original intro I made to this video kinda got messed up and I don't have the $1,000 in pennies all pretty and packaged up like I used to, but I will play a little clip right now that explains how this machine works and it has the $1,000 in pennies in the background just so you can see the pennies and all of their beauty. So real quick, I'm gonna break it down how this machine works right here. So I go ahead and power it on and it's kind of loud. What's happening is it's turning real quick and looking for pennies and it's gonna put them through this machine. We're gonna screw it at one end or the other. So right here, I got a bag of copper pennies. They're all copper because uh, they've been pre-sorted with this machine from previous boxes that I've done in the past. So I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put a few in to the machine and they should all go into that blue bin right there. Now I'm not sure how well you guys could really see that, but they did all go into the blue bin because they were all copper pennies. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing, but with some zinc pennies that I've previously collected in this bucket right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of those pennies in the machine and they should all go into the red bin. And as you were able to see, they all went into the red bin, so the machine is working properly. Now tomorrow we're gonna to be running all $1,000 in pennies that we got right here through the machine, and we're gonna be seeing what we get. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So as I was saying earlier, some of the boxes of pennies are already sorted through. Right now we're working on box number 15 that we're uh, sorting through out of 40. So we've got about a fourth of the box left. But I'm gonna give you guys a little update of where we're at, coming at around 15 boxes of pennies. So this right here is our copper pennies. Uh, it's a lot more than it looks like. It's pretty damn heavy. Right here we've got our wheat pennies. There's 344 of them. So for $375 in pennies, getting 344 wheat pennies is actually a pretty good rate. Um, that's almost 1% of all the pennies were wheat pennies, so I'll take that. This red bin right here is just full of zinc pennies. That's gonna be a really fun run to the bank. Go ahead, leave a comment if you wanna see like a quick video of me bringing all these zinc pennies to the bank. It's, I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. I can't even lift or move this red bucket, so it's gonna be pretty fun. And coming in right here, we've got the remainder of our pennies. We've got 25 boxes right here. So here we are about to crack the seal on box number 22 of 40. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of recording of the boxes because really it's not all that interesting, you know. If I find something really cool, I will be sure to like make a little recording, make a clip of it. But we haven't found anything crazy yet. We have a lot of wheat pennies, a lot of copper pennies, but no standout dates. And we've gone through what? If we've gone through 21 boxes, We've actually gone through 18 boxes. Three of the boxes that I've opened, we did not sort through. We didn't even touch the rolls, which I'll get to here in a second. We got some uncirculated pennies. I will be sure to show you guys that. But here we are cracking box number 22. We are getting, you know, we're past halfway done. And honestly, I have no idea how much copper we've um, gotten yet. So I don't actually have a scale to weigh out the pennies, but I like to use a good old fashioned pick it up and see how much it feels like it weighs. I picked this up. It's a heavy bucket. It's all full of copper pennies. I would say it weighs 55 pounds. I have no idea. I could be way off, but I'm going to guess 55 pounds. At the end of this video, I am going to go buy a scale and weigh how much copper we got from $1,000 worth of pennies. 
and then we're gonna start listing it on eBay and seeing how much profit we're gonna make. But I'm gonna run box number 22 through the sorter and I'm just gonna show you what we get from one box so you can see what like the average box looks like, you know. I can't guarantee you this is gonna be like the average box because sometimes I get really good boxes, sometimes I get really bad boxes, but I'm gonna show you whatever we get from box number 22 right here just so you can see on average what we're getting from a box of pennies. So I'm all finished up with my lovely count and we're looking at 426 copper pennies which I would say is about average on the copper penny count. You know I don't usually count them I just weigh them and this is about three pounds of copper and that's pretty much what I get on the average box. Now we only got six wheat pennies on this box. I'd say the average is about like 13 to 15. You know, one box I found, it was just a really good box. I had over 80 wheat pennies in one box. And you know, sometimes I've had boxes with as little as like five or six like we have right here. But, so I would say, but I would say this is lower on the average count for the wheat pennies. And once again, we didn't get any standout dates, no real good dates, they're all from the 50s and 40s. Uh, no 1943 copper pennies, that's what we're looking for. We're looking to hit it big, get rich, retire off of a penny. But we will continue the search and I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. And like I said earlier, we're going to get those uncirculated boxes of pennies listed on eBay and I'll let you guys know when or if they sell before the video is done being recorded. So it's been a while since the last update. Uh, I just wanted to tune back in. We got two boxes, just a little over two boxes of pennies left to sort. About maybe $55, $60 worth of pennies left that needs sorting. I did want to come in with a little update. Uh, we found a total of nine uncirculated boxes of pennies and through the past like month, you know, it, I've taken a long break just because I went home for two weeks and uh, just a lot of stuff has happened, been real busy. No excuse to slack on the YouTube grind, but of the nine uncirculated boxes of pennies, we found eight of them sold at $52.99 each, which after fees, shipping, cost about $7.30 to ship it, I want to say, after uh, the eBay discount plus 10% fees, cost is $25. I think we're getting like 15 to $20 profit per box. That's just a rough estimate. We'll stick with 15, but I think it's higher than that. So take that times eight, that's $120 in profit just from the eight boxes that we've sold that were uncirculated pennies. So that doesn't even count any wheat pennies and copper pennies that we have found. So that's pretty cool that we were able to profit 120 bucks just off of pennies we didn't even have to sort. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to bang out these last two boxes of pennies and I'll get right back with you and hopefully we can end up adding up some final results of this 100,000 penny treasure hunt that we got going on. And just like that, we finally finished sorting all 100,000 pennies. Boy, let me tell you, the last two boxes were brutal. I don't know what's up with this machine, it's finally given out after running an ungodly amount of pennies through it. Uh, it was jamming every, I want to say like four or five rolls of pennies, so it was taking it a lot longer than normal to sort those last two boxes, but I'm proud to say that we're finally done. All that's left is to go through the last of the copper pennies that are in this blue bucket right here, and I can finally get you guys the results of sorting through 100,000 pennies. So I'll get back with you guys tomorrow when I start going through these copper pennies right here, and we'll get you guys some numbers on what we actually found tomorrow. Alright, it's all set and done guys. We finally finished sorting all the copper pennies. We took out every wheat penny from every single box and I'm proud to finally bring to you guys the final numbers, some final profits on what we've done with this 100,000 penny project. You know, it's been pretty crazy. I'm going to guess that I put about 30 hours of work into sorting this. It could have gone way faster, but I took my time. I went nice and slow really. Uh, I had a pretty good time, honestly. Will I do this again? Probably not. A lot of work, a lot of time at the end of the day. It was a lot of time that it took to sort 100,000 pennies. But, you know, 
I enjoy doing it. And also, for those who probably don't know, I also got kind of TikTok famous doing this. Uh, I got a whopping, I think it was like 25,000 followers on TikTok. Maybe like 23,000, I forget. I'll put my TikTok in the description and maybe I'll show a little picture of my TikTok profile on the screen right now. Uh, so shout out to anybody who's coming here from TikTok and also a big shout out to everyone who was here before the TikTok fame. But like I said, probably about 30 hours that I put into uh, sorting all these copper pennies and it's time to actually weigh out the copper pennies and see how much copper we got. And then like I said, I'm also going to show you guys the entire uh, wheat pennies. I'll show you guys those first. So right here, so right here I put, in, I put them in stacks of five. We have 619 wheat pennies. Uh, my plans for these is I'm just gonna go ahead and lot them all up and sell it in one bulk lot on eBay. I could probably make a lot more money, you know, separating the dates. I know I do have some good dates in there, but I didn't get any like crazy dates. Nothing worth more than like five or 10 bucks in there. So I'm gonna lot them all up, sell them on eBay. I'll probably get something like 55, 65 bucks. Uh, so 619 pennies and the 60 bucks we'll say. Probably after fees and shipping, take a $40 profit there. Um, I did the math and I was making $17 per uncirculated box of pennies. So that's looking like $183 from nine boxes of uncirculated pennies. Only eight have sold so far, so I gotta sell one more. But $183 from that. But here is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Excuse the mess all over there. Got lots of penny boxes. It's been kind of a mess. Here, it's time to weigh it all out. <laughs> oh, I don't know how well y'all can see this. 101.2 pounds of pennies. That's crazy. 101.2 pounds of copper pennies. So right now, for anyone wondering, um, a, a pound of copper penny sells for about $3.50 approximately on eBay. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell them in like lots of 30 pounds for about 105 bucks per 30 pound lot. So that would make like three 30 pound lots and a 10 pound lot. Uh, I'm gonna do some math real quick and get back with you guys, you know, fees and whatnot. All right, I did some quick math. I'm estimating it's gonna cost me about $40 to ship all of these lots of pennies um, get a total of $365 in gross sales from these lots of pennies and the cost of all these copper pennies is approximately 145 pennies per pound of copper pennies so it would be $145 in copper pennies that we have right here so what we're looking at is a good $130 profit on the copper pennies alone and like I said probably a $40 profit on the wheat pennies and another $183 profit on the uncirculated boxes of pennies that we found. Now the job's not done. As you guys can see, we have a lot of pennies right here. So I'm gonna have to call around to some banks and see what bank will let me uh, take these pennies to them and exchange them for you know regular dollars because I'm really not trying to pay uh, my bills and pennies for the next two months. So adding everything together from all the work we did in this video, it's looking like we'll make a $350 profit. Some of that we already made on the eight boxes of pennies we sold. Um, was this worth all the work that we put into this? Honestly, I don't know. So we'll say 30 hours of work, 350 bucks made. It's almost $12 an hour. It's more than minimum wage. It's more, you know, it's an all right paying job, but God, I don't know if I would do this, you know, as a full-time job for 12 bucks an hour. It's kind of insane. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed to say that I did not find a 1943 copper penny. That was uh, the plan in this video to find one of those and just retire and yeah, peace out YouTube, you know, go home. All jokes aside, uh, I didn't find any crazy pennies. It would have been great, would have been awesome to show you guys the cool pennies I found but it's whatever. Thank you all for watching this video and just coming along on this journey to 100,000 pennies. If you guys wanna see me do something like this again in the future, leave a comment down below. And maybe once I take a nice little break from all these coins, I never wanna look at another penny in my life right now. But maybe once I take a nice little break, I'll get back into this good coin roll hunting hobby of mine and uh, we can make more videos on it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.